We have brought speakers from all over the world, th traveling thousands of kilometers of miles, just to give you some information that would change your thinking and therefore change the way we, we live and eventually change Nigeria. Now, there's someone who made this possible, who has been putting his effort to the, uh, the advancement of blockchain in Africa. And that is in the person of the co-founder of Dominion. Ladies and gentlemen, may welcome uh, Ibrahim Mohamed Jega. Put your hands together for him as he comes to give us the lowdown of what to expect today. The louder you clap, the faster he will come to the stage. Thank you, David. Uh, good morning, everyone. Um, thank you so much for making out here to be here with us today. It's a very exciting day for us, and uh, we are overwhelmed. Overwhelmed because of one reason. The reason is blockchain adoption in Africa has been very, very slow. And we've seen the progress done on different countries, but our country has taken a different dimension. The dimension is all about understanding what are we really going to achieve and how do we make it happen. We're so lucky, very lucky to have somebody who is part of us and who believe in us and who understand us and who is ready to make it happen for us. That's in the person of DG of NIDA, Mr. Kashif Inwa. He has been very amazing because he has told us on several occasions that blockchain adoption in Nigeria, he wants to leave from the front. So I want to take a minute for everyone to do a special thank you for the DG of NIDA for keeping a day for blockchain to come and showcase the success stories, the, the, the ability, and also what Nigeria is trying to achieve in stimulating the blockchain adoption. We're going to give three bosa for DG of NIDA. We have to go to the Luta region, seriously. We have to do it now. It's very, I'm very emotional about this. We have to go there. So let's go. Three bosa for DG. Bosa, bosa, bosa. Thank you so much, DG. We appreciate you. We celebrate you for making this happen. I just want to give a quick highlight about what is going to happen today. Today is a very important day for us because it's a big win for us because blockchain has come to stay in Nigeria and the transition of blockchain uh, from uh, transition of traditional data to blockchain data is really going to go move fast. That is the vision of Dominion. We want to see how governments and businesses transition from traditional data into blockchain data. And for us to have an enabling environment like this, which we have invited you and you've honored us to be with us today, it's a big honor. So thank you so much all for coming. And we have assembled the best of the best for you today. They came all the way from Canada. Let's start from the keynote guy, Ray Baba. He's sitting on a fund of over $400 million. He's not coming here to look at your beautiful faces. He wants to invest in Nigerian businesses, which he has already started doing. <laughs> Down to my brother, American Sudanese Ahmed, who is very passionate about digital transformation. He's the brain behind, one of the brain behind the digital transformation of Saudi. If some of you who have been to Mecca, you can see Mecca has gone very high in terms of technology. This is the guy. This is the part of the guys that make things happen. <laughs> Down to Ray Yusuf. Ray Yusuf is on his way. He's the founder of Paxful. He said he's very passionate about Nigeria. He said, guys, I'm a Nigerian. We met him five years ago, myself and Jeffrey, at uh, uh, Tallinn, Estonia. And since then, we connected. We told him, 
the potentials of Nigeria. We told him the opportunities in Nigeria. We told him how interesting and amazing Nigerian young people are with their energy and intelligence. When he gave it a trial three years ago, he never regretted it. He has invested a lot in Nigeria, and he wants to do more. Down to Lauren Gamarov. This is the second time. Thank you, Lauren, for making it out to us. He is uh, very passionate about Nigerians who want to pull in around financial inclusion. We have Jimmy Nyang, Super Jimmy, who has been coming all the way. He's been traveling for the past one month, flew all the way over from the U.S. to come and support the Nigerian transformation around blockchain. Because he told me that I want to see Nigeria go faster in Africa. And I feel we can do that with the support of DG. <laughs> James from Miami, he is running uh, an ed tech platform to see how you can be able to move away from TikTok and Facebook and get something that you can earn money as you do transactions, you communicate to people. James, thank you so much for making it out to us, to us today. We're very honored to have you. Thank you. Satesh Malwani is one of our bosses from the UK. We have one of our offices in London, Canary Wharf. They run the Eden Fund. They invest in a lot of big startups. You know, some of you that know Flutterwave, he's behind them. The same here, sent to Gentleman Quiet, but very powerful. Thank you so much for coming all the way from London to support us. And this is just to trigger, it's a, a kind of revolution for blockchain transformation in Nigeria. And we want to let you know that Nigeria is going to lead and make sure we get the right impact and the right results so that we can be able to all succeed. I don't want to bore you too much, but just, I just want to tell you to take your seats, calm down, there's a lot of tea, coffee for you, come back, we're not going to do break. No break today, guys. We're going to sit down here and get the knowledge. These guys came in. You have to get it right. Thank you so much.